And staying with news from India, ISRO is all set to launch its RESAT and Earth Observation Satellite on the 48th mission of the PSLV series, PSLV C-46 on 22nd of May. Now, the rocket will be launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. The space rocket will be carrying RESAT 2B shot for radar imaging satellite 2B. It is the second in a series of satellites used to observe weather conditions on Earth. Using radar imagery, the satellite will be capable of monitoring weather day and night in all weather conditions. ISRO has made provision for the public to view the launch from recently opened viewers gallery at the Satish Dhawan Space Center. And here's the latest on the U.S.-Iran tensions as the day after he warned Iran of ruin, U.S. President Donald Trump has called the nation a provocateur of terror. Trump first reiterated his stance on Twitter where he ruled out all reports of U.S. trying to negotiate with Iran and then went on to slam Iran for letting its economy collapse, calling it very sad for the Iranian people. With Iran, we'll see what happens, but uh, they've been very hostile. They've truly been the number one uh, provocateur of terror in this country and, in, you know, representing their country, but certainly our country has been very much involved because we're trying to help a lot of people out. However, the U.S. president said there was no indication that the Islamic Republic will attack the United States. We have not, in, we've not uh, talked about it. We'll see what happens. If they called, we would certainly negotiate, but that's going to be up to them. I'd only want them to call if they're ready. If they're not ready, they don't have to bother. Now, Trump's remarks came despite urgings from Tehran for the United States to treat them with respect and not threats of war. In fact, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has revealed that he does favor talks, but not in the current conditions. Rouhani said, and I quote, Today's situation is not suitable for talks and our choice is resistance only. And so according to reports, Iran has increased its uranium enrichment by four times. This is in clear violation of the Iran nuclear deal. The